looking for an adorable curtain that you can't find in any store, all you need is some crochet thread and today's video and I'll show you how to make it. I have crocheted pretty much my whole life, probably since the age of seven. I've knitted several projects. My favorite go-to for home decor is macrame. Today I'm going to show you how to do this pattern. All you need to do is a square knot and a diagonal clove hitch. Don't let those words uh, scare you. Super, super easy. I, I tell you, I love, love this pattern. So let's get started. I will show you everything you need to make this curtain and you can adapt it to fit your window size. So here's a visual of the work in progress so you can see the big picture before I start showing you uh, the little details. So there, there are loops that go up over the uh, curtain rod. Each loop in between takes about an inch and a half. So when you're calculating how wide you want your curtain, um, know that uh, it takes an inch and a half uh, between these loops. And to cut your yarn, you're going to want to cut it eight times longer than your finished length. So my finished length is going to be around one foot. It's just gonna be a balance. So I am cutting my crochet strings eight feet long. For every one of these, you need four strings eight feet long. For the loops, we take four strings at a time to make this loop. I have this hanging on my work surface. I um, talk about uh, how you can make your own uh, work board in a video um, on the my macrame supply, so you can check that link out. But you just need to have four cords. I have it, um, this knot is roughly at the halfway point. So this is the middle of my eight foot long uh, strings. So what you need to do is you need to do 15 uh, square knots. So to do a square knot, you divide your strings into three sections. We have an outside and an outside and two cords make the inside. So we're going to go left over the center two, right over that one, the right goes behind everything and comes up in that half circle and you draw that up. Now you can't go with your next chord and you know this is the chord you do next by looking at the, the string goes out the back of that knot. That means that is the one you do next. This string here is coming out the front. So now we do the same thing with the right one. We go right over the center two, left over that one, and then left goes behind the two and in that half circle. And that is one square knot. It takes two steps to make the square knot. So let's do that again. So you go left over two, right over one, right behind the two, and up that half circle. Do the same thing with the opposite side, right over, left over that one, left behind and goes in that half circle. So that's two steps. So we need to do 15 of those. Okay, I have 15 done and the way you count your square knot is for me, since it's a, I started on the left, I count this little hoop that's on the left side and that means uh, one square knot, two, three, four, all the way down to 15. So that's the easiest way that I've found to count how many uh, square knots you have. So now you take that piece and you loop it over your either your curtain rod or a dowel rod, whatever you're using to do your work on, because uh, this will slide off. You don't have to use your exact curtain rod at this point. So we have it looped over and we are going to do one big square knot with all of these cords. So we're going to take the outside one to that side on the back piece, the outside one off to the other side. On the top, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to take the top outside and the other top outside. Now we have them divided into three sections like we did before. We have our outside, which just happens to be two cords this time. 
on each side and your middle makes four. So pinch them to where their bases are even. We have our two and we have our two. Now do one square knot with all of them. I have another one of them done, so we'll go ahead and we'll do the same thing, and then I can show you how to do the pattern for the body of the curtain. So we have our two, one from the top and the bottom on the right, one from the top and the bottom on the left, and your middle cords in the center, and do one big square knot. Okay, now we're ready to do the pattern. The pattern um, came from an inspiration from a book that I just really like. It's called the Macrame Pattern Book, and I have the link to that down below. Um, but what we do is on each one of these loops, separate it out in this, um, to two pieces, to two sections. So we have four cords here and four here. And I'm just going to loop that one up out of the way. So on each side, you're going to do one square knot. And while you're on this side, this is where we're going to do the diagonal clove hitch. So to do that, you have your upper cord and your lower cord. Your upper cord uh, kind of keeps some tension on it. And your other cord is what's going to wrap around it to make your knot. So we're going to take the lower cord, wrap it over, and come through the center and slide it to the top. And keeping tension on here will make this a really pretty knot. So you go over your cord and bring it through that center half um, circle there. Keep tension on your upper cord and draw it tight. You do the same thing on the other two cords. Now this is your upper cord and this is your lower cord. So it goes in front, around to the back, and through that half circle, keep tension on your upper one and draw it up and do it one more time. You go on the front, around to the back, and in that center circle and draw it up. So again, this knot takes two steps. You have to go around your working cord twice in order to make this knot. So now that one is um, going to get moved out of the way. So to refresh, we do one square knot. The two cords, are, then you separate them off into two cords and you do a diagonal clove stitch twice. So I'm going to go that out of the way and we'll do this again. So this one comes out of that one big square knot that we did. And we're going to do one square knot here. Separate them into two sections. We have two cords there and two here. This one is your upper one because it, it's on, it, on the split. These two are the center, so here's upper. Take your lower cord in front, flip it to the back, and draw it into that cir uh, center circle. Keep tension on the upper one and pull it up. Do the same thing for step number two. So again, two steps for the one knot. We have the upper cord have tension on it. Bring the lower one over, around to the back, and through that center circle. We're going to go over the front, around the back, and in that circle. And fussing with them to make sure that they're kind of nice and tight makes a really pretty project. So nice and even it, uh, when all possible. Okay, so we're kind of stuck on this one because these cords will then join to this one and you will continue your pattern all the way down. But you need to address your beginning of the curtain. So to do the beginning, we need to first take care of this center. So we've done our diagonal ones. We join those two with a square knot. After every square knot on this pattern, it separates off into two of the diagonal ones. So here we have our square knot. We separate it off into two, and we're going to do a diagonal one here. 
So we have our two separated off, and so we're going to do one of the diagonal stitches here. Keep tension on it to make it nice and even. Now you have done a diagonal here and a diagonal here. These four will make one square knot, and this will be the straight edge of your curtain. So now again, after every square knot, they separate off into a diagonal. From now on, this, um, this uh, little half one here, we'll scoot it down a little bit so it looks a little bit more even, but it doesn't have to. You can leave it um, up to the top. So we're going to do a diagonal one, but I'm going to stop it about right there. And stop it and slide it down. So there's a diagonal there, and then it will get joined with the um, the rest of the project. So let's do one more and I will show you how to connect it to the next loop. So here we're doing a diagonal, pull it up and pull it up. Okay, now we get to join these together. So each loop starts the same way. We divide them out into four chords both directions and do one square knot and one square knot for these. As I said earlier, after every square knot, you do two of the diagonal stitches. So I'm going to do two, or I'm gonna do a diagonal um, knot on this cord of two. Okay, so here's an example. If you don't keep the tension on this, your knot would lay kind of funny. It would lay, f um, the knot itself would be flat instead of up and down. And I think that that's what it makes this pattern so uh, crisp is having the even uh, knot. So keep tension on that top cord so that you can get a nice uh, pattern. Now we get to join these two together. So here is a diagonal, and here is a diagonal. We join them together with a square knot. And I'm going to repeat myself again. After every square knot, we do two um, diagonals. This diagonal and this one, I didn't do a diagonal yet. You can see my square knot, but I... Um, went ahead and went more to the left, so I need to add a diagonal. Now I can join the two diagonals with a square knot. Okay, I put back up my work in progress here so you can see how cool the X pattern is now that you know what the stitches are. The, the legs of your X are the diagonals. The center of your X is the square knot. So this is um, the edge, like we were saying. So your, um, your diagonal is making up a, uh, a little pretty on this side there, so it's nice and straight. When you decide how wide your curtain is going to be, I'm going to make mine one and a half times the width of my window. So when I get to that width, this edge here will do the same thing. We will just finish it off with only a diagonal and not uh, keep joining. But all you have to do is continue to add loops to make the project as wide as you want. This is how long I'm going to make my valance, so I'm going to continue at that level all the way across. Then I'll come back and I'll show you how I finish it off. I decided on the last row where you end with one square knot, I did two square knots on the bottom of each of those V's. Now I have it laying out on my cutting mat and I'm just going to use a couple clips just to keep it um, uh, secure on this end as I straighten it out. I ended up for my 17 inch window this ended up being about 33 inches long. So I am going to make sure that the bottom of each of these square knots is straight along the, the same line. And since I can't clip on this end, I'm just going to put something heavy here to make sure that that stays straight. Double check again. That goes up a little. And now I'm just going to use a straight edge and I am going to cut three inch fringe all the way across. 
So here it is, all finished and in my window. I, uh, I'm really surprised at how um, much I loved this project. It's very repetitive, so I was concerned that I would have got bored. Never did get bored. I love it. Um, and it's really adjustable for your size, window, length, width, uh, whatever. So I hope you enjoyed. If you have any questions uh, while you're doing your project or if you have any ideas of um, how we can spice this one up, please comment down below. But as always, thank you for watching DIY on the house.